Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Alberta News and Views. Today, the CTV is at committee answering questions about misinformation, disinformation, and fake news. Now, a little while back, they got busted cutting and splicing a video about Pierre Polyev when he was talking about the carbon tax and a carbon tax election. Now, the CTV did that to misdirect and misinform Canadians about Pierre Polyev and this carbon tax election. Now, that resulted in the CTV firing two employees, journalists, um, for breaking protocol, and uh, they pretty much got thrown under the bus because the CTV had to do something. Now, media in Canada right now is an absolute freefall. They are all on life support. They are Trudeau Media Corp. They are the voice of the government. Nobody watches it. Nobody believes it. It is literally an arm of propaganda for the liberal government. Now watch Andrew Scheer. He really knocks us out of the park and he gets to the root of all evil that would be Bell CTV. Yeah, Mr. Scheer, you have five minutes. Go ahead, sir. Oh, God. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. I just have to go back to what you said. You said that the clip was altered. You showed Canadians something that never happened. And you're telling me now that there is no intent to misinform Canadians and that the reason for that altering of a clip was because it had to be uh, cut down for time. So the words that were cut out were carbon tax election. Okay, now I just timed myself. That took about 1.2 seconds. So you're telling me that there was no intent to misinform Canadians and they had to cut this down for length and that it would be understood that the quote from the Conservative leader was about a carbon tax election even though you removed the words carbon tax election. Can you understand how we're having a very difficult time accepting that? So I want to be clear. Um, what I indicated was that that was the explanation offered by the individual involved. That was not my explanation as do you to what accept transpired. That? Do you accept that? Or do you believe it was mis deliberate, deliberately done to mislead Canadians? I do not believe that it was deliberately done, but okay, so, still, so there, do you was accept the, of our, there was a violation of our editorial standards, so, do you, so these do two you individuals the are no longer part of it. Yeah. Do you accept the explanation that was given to you? We have made a decision that due to the violation of our editorial standards, that these individuals are no longer part of CTV News. So what do you, what do you believe the motive was? Uh, it's, it is not for me to determine what the oh. motive was. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. CTV News is a division of Bell Canada, is that correct? It is. Uh, Bell Canada makes about $2.3 billion in profit based on 2023 numbers. Is, is that about correct? Would you agree with that? I'm not aware of how our company performs overall. Um, yeah, well, I can confirm that that's true. I'm, look, I'm looking at it on, on your website. Uh, CTV News. Does the CTV News division turn a profit for Bell Canada? No, it does not. We lose $40 million a year in news. Okay. Oh. Uh, Bell Canada makes a lot of money because it operates in a protected marketplace. Is that correct? Again, I, my responsibilities are for managing the operations of CTV News. I'm not an executive at Bell Canada. Okay, well, I can tell you that it does. It makes uh, an awful lot of uh, money off the backs of consumers uh, because of government policies. In fact, I have here that uh, Bell Canada in the last year lobbied this government over 50 times. That's more than four meetings with government officials a month. That's uh, more, <laughs> that's more face time with senior government levels than some Liberal MPs get. And I would just like to point out that Bell would fear a government that was led by a party that believed in consumer-first types of policies and free market uh, and, and, uh, and pro-competition policies and would benefit greatly from a party in power that continued the uh, status quo or even worse, uh, uh, providing you know, t taking away more avenues for consumer choice, which would allow Bell to continue to make that kind of profit margin. Is CTV News's viewership increasing 
or decreasing year over year? Would, would, would the viewership this year be higher or lower than last year? Uh, there has been a consistent erosion in viewership in broadcast media in this country uh, for a number of years. It's falling year over year. I wonder why, you'd like after, a, when you get caught putting uh, things on the air that you then have to admit never actually happened, I can understand why uh, viewership as well, well can, as trust would erode. I, I just want I I only can give a, you a couple of specific... Uh, sorry, I, 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 don't, I only have about a minute left, so I just want to make uh, understand one thing. Uh, does, does CTV News have a diversity target? Uh, our goal is to reflect um, Canada and the current visible minority... Um, percentage in this country, according to the 2021 census, is 26%. Do you have a target for diversity of political viewpoints at CTV News? It's our job, as I said earlier, to present all sides of public policy issues in a balanced, accurate, and fair way. That doesn't answer the question. Do you have a specific policy to ensure that the editorial direction, the journalists, and the producers at CTV News reflect the Canadians' political spectrum it's not the job of journalists to reflect the canadian political spectrum it's our job to present stories in an unbiased balanced accurate and fair way no but you're telling me you have no way of determining whether or not the producers the editors and the journalists all have the same liberal bias you have no way to determine that quick quick response mr gray please our 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 team do not have a liberal bias okay. This is the reason why um, they are getting decimated. Uh, n nobody believes this. It doesn't reflect what is going on out here in the real world. Everybody knows everything they say is a lie be because it doesn't make any sense to the regular people. The future, of, the future of media in Canada is it's its own unique little beast. For all of you out there that don't know, Canada is... It's a monopoly. We have a monopoly over our food, our telecommunications, our radio. Um, we have it on farming, seeds. Like We have it in so many different um, industries in Canada that media is unique because we have the internet and we have these platforms that run as huge production companies, essentially. So someone like myself can be my own one-person independent media but I pack a very powerful punch and so much so that my viewership before I was canceled was massive. Canadians have no voice and it is reflective in our television and in our music and in everything that is done in Canada. It is terrible, especially when you look at the top 10, top 10 list in podcasts. Everybody is just watching everything American now. And that is what's happening in Canada. They are, just as the saying goes, the left eats itself. Here is a great article um, from the National Post. It says, CTV got it wrong. Uh, media dismissals of that fact are even worse. All newsrooms should take care to report in good faith. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. If you want to survive in Canada and you want the money from the government, you have to carry their water for them. Until only recently, Justin Trudeau enjoyed what appears to have been the longest media honeymoon of, per of perhaps any prime minister. And yet, when the opposition conservatives point out the obvious bias or avoid media questions, reporters and columnists gasp as if democracy is crumbling before them. Pierre Polyev is accused of all sorts of nefarious and evil actions and intentions. A grand narrative is always asserted, but rarely is it ever backed up? Here are some really good examples. Examples are not hard to find. A Toronto Star columnist has argued Polyev would try to claim elections conservatives lost were illegitimate or rigged. No evidence was cited. A Canadian press story accused Polyev of spreading conspiracy theories. Again, no evidence was cited. A CBC story accused the conservative leader of pandering to an extremist group called Diagolan, but and the only evidence cited for that was that he walked past a door with some graffiti scroll on the bottom of it. I highly recommend anybody out there, you read this whole thing. I'm not going to do it. I don't want to bore you. But it is just example after example after example of what I was talking about. They are trying to create this monopoly in Canada. 
So I'm going to create with the media. I'm going to continue on with just a few more little tidbit news things that um, news headlines you, you should know about. So here is Franco Terrazano. He is with um, the Taxpayer Federation. It's great. They got good stuff. I'll give him a follow. So he says breaking. PBO once again, sorry, the Parliamentary Budget Officer, the PBO for short, once again confirms carbon tax costs Canadians more than they get back in rebates. Quote, the average household in each of the backstop provinces will see a net cost. Paying more in the federal fuel charge and related goods and services tax, as well as receiving lower incomes due to the fuel charge compared to the Canada carbon rebate they have received. Now, Franco is independent. This is all you need to know and just turn off anything else you have ever heard about the carbon tax because this is our truth. This is the truth for the hardworking Canadian and we know it and we see it. And anything that we hear either than that is a lie. The carbon tax rebate is not more than I myself pays into it. Jeez, it's ridiculous they keep on blabbling on about that. This is from Black Locks Reporter. So TV ad revenues fall 10% at CBC with no end in sight as network predicts, quote, audiences will continue to erode, requiring more and more subsidies. This is exactly what I'm telling you. Everybody is tuning off. They're turning off Trudeau Media Corp. They're turning off anything Canadian because now they have no trust in it. They don't care. They don't care what Trudeau Media Corp says. It is all garbage. So they are turning to either X or the United States because their media is independent. Canada is a, mon is a monopolized socialist nightmare that is eating itself alive. It is literally destroying itself. And if you follow any kind of history or read anything with some very intelligent historians, they all say that. Civilizations, especially prosperous ones, they destroy themselves by suicide. That's what's happening in Canada right now. This is, I'm going to end it with this. This is crazy. TD Bank, you know, the bank that started the freezing of the bank accounts in Canada, TD Bank hit with record $3 billion U.S. fine over drug cartel money laundering. Seriously, that is the quality of TD Bank. You deal with TD Bank, get out. They are garbage. Just like a bazillion, a bazillion other trusted institutions um, going on in Canada and the United States right now. Everything is in crisis mode. It is time for Western. <laughs> All roads lead to Western independence or provincial independence in Canada. I'm telling all of you, it's going to get worse. We have to get rid of our federal government. The, the corruption is systemic. It is not going anywhere. The only change we're ever going to get is by independence and complete reform from the ground up. Times have changed. Everything is changing. And we need to be the people. The people, regular people need to be the ones that rein in this change in this, this crazy technological world that is, it's going to happen, and it's happening. Regardless of how you feel, it's here, and that's why it's so important that we are the change. Um, not, not these mega corps or investment firms or friends of friends of friends of friends and family members in government that are just ramming stuff through and down our throats whether we like it or not. It's unreal. I'm going to keep you updated with as much as I can when I can. All of you out there, follow me on Substack, Spotify, and YouTube. Like, share, and take care.